It's been said that we are our greatest enemy. We constantly look outward to obstacles and threats, but the real threat, the real obstacle, and the most dangerous enemy, it's me. It's unfortunate that I often stand in the way as an opponent of reason, an opponent of truth, and I stand in the way of my own victory. I would rather see the fault in others than embrace my own. And it's for this reason that you and I, as followers of Christ, must constantly put ourselves under examination and on the stand of scrutiny. And not for self-destruction and pity, but for Christ's construction in our lives. Now, after 12 chapters of intense instruction, rebuke, and self-defense, the Apostle Paul closes in this great chapter 13 of the second letter of Corinthians with a powerful and sobering challenge. Chapter 13, verse 5. Examine yourselves to see whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves, he says. We are often very quick to examine and test others, but first and Almost always, first, we must examine and test ourselves. That was the problem in Corinth. They criticized Paul and failed to examine themselves. Let me now bring this challenge to you. Stop, take a moment regularly to be real with God and to be real with yourself. At the end of Psalm 139, verse 23, David asked this of the Lord, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any grievous way in me and lead me in the way of everlasting. If we ask this of the Lord and are honest with our self-examination, I promise you, I promise you the Lord will reveal where you lack. He will comfort where you stand. He will forgive where you need forgiveness and bring you in the way of everlasting. What are we to look for when we self-examine and test ourselves? Look for Jesus. Is Jesus in the activities I involve myself with? Is Jesus exalted in my thought life? And do I examine others with the love and care that Jesus does? And please know this, we're not looking for perfection in ourselves or others, but we should see real evidence of Christ Jesus among ourselves. Although we might be our greatest enemy, Jesus is our answer, our hope, and how we ultimately pass the examination. Seek the way, seek the life, and seek the truth. Seek Jesus, and please know that you are greatly loved, so go and greatly love.